so I had freshened up a little bit and now I am ready to style my outfit. So today's a really long day. I'll go over the details later since we gotta row. I mean, we gotta row. At the end of this very long day, I'm going to be able to see Ravina with Yosef. I'm really excited. Ravina is an R&B slash soul artist. She kind of has her own special music, which is very cool. So that's why I adore her. Her music is lovely. When I think of Ravina, I usually think of like warm tones. She got a song called Honey, so I went to my closet before the dress is. I know this is cute yellow, so I wanted to use this. So that's one thing. And then, of course, these two are the main contenders. This is on my big old thrift haul on my channel. This is from Urban Outfitters that I ordered towards the end of the summer. Take advantage of these concerts. Oh, it's still kind of warm. And then I also have this elephant t-shirt that's, no. This could also work to new tones, but this is not comfortable and I want to be comfortable at the concert. So the next thing I want to do is look at accessories that go with these outfits and also match the tones if I want to wear any hats, certain type of socks, bags, and things like that. So now I'm going to go into my little messy jewelry area to see if I can find clips, necklaces, things like that. Gold is, to, is a more warm tone than silver would be. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all those accessories. And this is what I do usually for all my outfits. And then I can start putting them together. Enjoying the beautifulness that is my room. I actually really love this one. Oh, purple and the orange and yellow. They go so well together. I wore these close to my last concert. Gold star ring. All the little bracelets. Gold bar necklace along with this gold bar. One like this. I'm debating if I should leave it hanging out. I think it's just for a concert. I think it's gonna be a little annoying. But the thing is, Ravina's concert is not a jumping and crazy one. I'm gonna hurry up and change it to the other little dress and then I'll let you guys know. This is my other outfit. I actually really love both. These are both really cute. But again, Converse and then same accessories as if I added this little scrunchie. If I don't add it on the actual outfit, I'll throw it inside this bag. It looks like the Palma. That's what I thought of when I bought these. I think just based off this one, I think I'm really liking putting the necklace inside. So I think I'm actually just gonna pack both. I'll ask Yosef what he thinks. The shirt did not make it. So I guess you will have to see and watch till the end of today's vlog to see what outfit I end up choosing. Also, let me know what you guys think in the comments, which outfit you like better. I honestly think I'm just gonna go and wear this for the day. So the agenda for today is that in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna run to my car to go get my eyebrows done and my underarms. And then after that, Yosef has a soccer game at our school. So I'm gonna go watch him play and this is in the, in the most extra outfit, but whatever. After that, probably chill for a little bit and then I leave for work for a few hours. I work as a tennis coach and so I'm gonna get a little sweaty and I don't have time to come back because as soon as work's over, Yosef's gonna pick me up straight from work and then we're gonna head to the venue, which is U Street. I've never been to this venue before, but Yosef has, so this will be my first experience there. And then that's it for the day. I'm surprised I got out like right on time. So I have all my stuff packed in my little cute buffalo exchange bag. My uncle gave me some cookies, so I have a snack just for the day. And then wallet, alternate outfit, some hygienal things to clean up after. And I also have my ticket. And then on the way out, my cute moisturizer that I showed you guys in my back to school vlog. I dropped it. Good thing the glass didn't break though, just the lid. So I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done now. See you guys there. Apparently I will not see you guys at the European Wax Center because they literally called me 10 minutes before saying that the person that was supposed to wax me called in sick. That's kind of a bummer, but at least I'm here on campus now. There's the lot over there is where they're already warming up and stuff. 
Also, I'm parking next to Yosef's car and this man's parking. He roasts me so much about my bad parking, but I'm calling him out right now. Look at this. I'll see you guys at the field. So I'm kind of early, I'm like 30 minutes till the game starts, but I want to watch him warm up. I was listening to Ravina in the car this morning. It's not a lot of cars out and just listening to her is so nice. Her music's so smooth. And now I'm gonna stop vlogging because I'm coming closer and I'm gonna get embarrassed. Okay, bye. I'm just getting my water bottle because it's actually so freaking hot outside. I'm dying. I'm all also awkward and nervous being there. It's these huge benches. It's me and this one older dude. I should not be winded right now, but here I am. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming because I need, I'm already out of breath and hot from the weather and I'm already getting hotter just because I'm nervous and it anxious. So, okay, I'm gonna get back on the field. Okay, guys, see you there. Reed. <laughs> It's halftime now and I'm freaking dying. But yeah, I've been in the deck sun for like an hour now. <laughs> so I'm just chilling underneath the benches. I was in 2 0 right now. But they're playing really well, I think. Not that I ever played soccer, but I've been watching soccer for a while now since I've been dating Yosef. So, you know, I know a thing or two. Not really. Hopefully, they can get the W in the next half. Till then, I'm gonna enjoy the shade. Soccer game is done, and now. It's like a fat L. Nah, 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 they don't know. We won. We won. It was like don't, six. Don't lie. I scored all six. Oh come on, that's ridiculous. So now we're going to quickly pick an outfit because we have to eat. Okay, so you're wearing orange. Yep. Either this. Or yeah, green, earth tones. Or like a light blue, or I can wear this one again. Oh, he also DIY'd this, guys. Cut the bottom. My parents think it's ugly. It's cute. They don't know anything about fashion. <laughs> what are you wearing for bottoms? Dang, I low key want to wear shorts. But I don't have any shorts to wear. So you're gonna wear jeans. Dude, I really don't want to wear jeans. Like, I just want to be comfortable. I'm so tired. Then be comfortable. Then find the honey shirt. Then. Oh, this one's oh. nice too. Also, I don't know if I put it on camera, but he said that the flower one my longer dress is the one I should choose. So we'll see, I'm still being decisive. Oh, here's the honey shirt. So when I put my outfit together, this is one of the first things I thought he could wear. It would be cute and complimentary. Also check this bracelet out, babe. Oh, nice. My sister made it. This is one of her hit songs. Yeah, I was about to say that. Oh. I made it difficult on myself because I had two games actually this weekend. So I want to be comfortable and I don't really feel like wearing pants. But my pants are really nice. Now I have to pick something more casual that also goes with Caitlyn's fit. But we'll see if that's even possible. So now I'm just laying out all my shorts. I love this Those color. Are I wear my shorts. Wilson vintage tennis shorts. Some Nike shorts. Navy. And I got my trusty Fila shorts that I wear a lot. And these guys better than the thrift haul. Now that I have shorts laid out. One shirt that I think would complement Caitlyn's outfit. Nah, doesn't work. Why not? I mean, this goes. It's my safe outfit. Then I think that also goes. This also goes with this. Probably this. <laughs> so you just found this other shirt here with the few of the shorts, right? Mm-hmm. It's a nice color. These. I also have my like flannel because it gets cold at night. Mm -hmm. I don't really care that much at this point. I'm gonna go take a shower, think about it, because a lot of important life decisions are made in the shower. And I'll come back, you can see my fit. I'll win. I definitely didn't cheat. Hello? Yeah. Seriously? I had to add the phone call. Why? Because it makes me seem important. Mm. Hello? Oh my gosh. Hurry up, yeah. I'm hungry! So this is the final fit. We got some dangly wrap. We have the Safari Boy bucket Why'd hat. Why'd you say we have a dangly wrap? Like, it's part of the fit. That's, that's funny. 
I'm gross. I'm calling you out. Ah, Just do oh, it! Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, Jesus. One last one. I'll do it slow. Why? I don't know. We ready? So bucket hat, honey shirt, green pants. Shirt. Those are comfortable, right? Fake Chanel. Yeah, they're baggy. It's cute. It goes with it, nude. Fake Chanel it is. Hey, cutie. She's hungry. You only see her in her happy state. Now you get to see the real Caitlyn. That's not true. I literally was raging at you um, in New York because you wouldn't let me eat. So um, right now we are on the way to Caitlyn's work because you know, the grind doesn't stop. We got to get this money somehow. Driving there, Caitlyn's going to work for two hours. I'm going to find a Starbucks and just chill and watch soccer or football. I'm gonna pick Caitlin up, and then from there, we're going to drive to the Ravina concert and just wait outside. Hopefully we get a good spot. We just wanna get there early. Obviously, closer to the front is better because U Street is like a tinier music hall. If we get stuck behind people, then it might be harder for Caitlin to see. That's the plan right now. We have our tickets. You do have your ticket? Always doubting. Yeah, we got our tickets. He literally forgot it. I literally asked him on the way out if he got it. He did not. Don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. We are on the way. Check in with you after work. So. Two hours till the concert. I am exhausted. trying coffee, which is my favorite flavor of ice cream, and their chocolate. So, let's see how it goes. I'll give you my review at the end. Um, I've been in a pretty mood. I'm tired, but we're getting ice cream right now, so, yay. Tyler's ice cream is in here, so I replaced it with the mint chip, but also the milkiest chocolate, and then this one was my favorite last time, the almond brittle. Brown butter almond brittle, so hopefully this will make me feel a little better. We're gonna cool down for a little bit, and then we're gonna go to U Street. Jenny's ice cream review time. Min chip was not as good as Tyler the Creator's snowflake. The milkiest chocolate was. My almond brittle was good, just like last time. I wanted some like rich chocolate to go with the mint chip, but just didn't even want to mix it. Wasn't good, and also a little waffle cone they add on top of the ice cream is really yummy. Cream puff was phenomenal. The coffee at first I didn't like it, but then as I kept eating it more, it started to taste a lot better. At the end of the day, it was really good, and some of the cream puff bits were left in the cup, so I put them in the coffee ice cream, and that was fire too. Maybe that's an ice cream idea for the future when I get to create my own ice cream. But the chocolate wasn't good. I have nothing more to say about the chocolate. <laughs> no more people can come Where are we? Um, I honestly keep forgetting. Was it you shooting music call? I feel like I was at a 20% earlier. 30%. Now I'm at like... 70, so we're, we're, we're better. Ooh. 
two hours early to not be two hours early. <laughs> oh well, we got ice cream. Tummy's cool. Nice. We didn't stand out in the heat. goodness she's precious she was lovely as soon as she came in i saw her eyes oh my gosh she's like a little anime girl i love it and then i was like okay we have a two-piece maybe it's like two colors and then the lights change and it's this like super colorful funky outfit i loved it and her makeup was beautiful precious energies such a happy gal i felt it couldn't help but smile every single time i was looking at her which is the whole time so smiling the whole time vibe in. Felt like we had some connection. The stage design was amazing. She worked on helping make that herself so I love that. Also love that she had this like green carpet and she was like barefoot. She just let herself like feel the music. I really enjoyed it. And yeah. My review of the concert. Vina is an awesome performer. I think she tries to set a mood and she wants people to feel a certain way when they're in the venue, and I think she does a good job. She made me feel, like she said, like at peace, loved. I can be vulnerable in there, it's a judgment-free zone, and I think that's awesome. She's a very beautiful voice. I mean, there's not much more you can ask. Like, she also has sick dance moves. <laughs> it was a really good performance. Second time seeing her. Saw her at Flogna. Now I got to see her in DC. And I can't wait for the next time. I wish that the tour was a little closer to the album release date because my lyric game was on point and then so much came out. It kind of got lost in the shuffle because like I'm always listening to new things. That's it for me, folks. <laughs> Dude, I feel like we started back even farther though, but like, I don't know how, like, I don't even remember moving up. Oh, I was slowly, I was working my way. In my head, I was thinking it and I just saw it happening. I was like, I'm gonna get closer. We didn't push anyone out of the way. Like, we're yeah, not, we're yeah, not we, yeah, we did not. There was space between people that just, I was like able to like slowly inch my way into that without like intruding per se. So yeah, that was able to get a really good view for the most part. Parking thing sucks. Cause we, I wanted to stay, so I wanted to meet her, but I'm trying to think about it too much. Search. 
reflection of my deepest need. 